Hello, my name is Dr. John Walk. I'm the owner and founder and medical director of Optimal Wellness Integrative Family Medicine Clinics in Gig Harbor and Olympia, Washington. In our program, we help you define and achieve your goals for optimal health. And we do this with our Walk to Wellness program. Now, today we're gonna to talk about exercise. Yeah, I know, you've always had a million excuses about why exercise wouldn't be helpful uh, or why you wouldn't want to exercise. Uh, but I gotta tell you that uh, exercise is one of the most important components of our walk to wellness. And uh, what I wanna do is uh, give you a little bit of physiology. See, depending on what rate you exercise will determine how fast your heart is going to need to beat and how hard your muscles are gonna have to work uh, to do that exercise that you've got uh, in your mind. Now, if you're trying to get from point A to point B just as fast as you can, your heart is gonna have to beat pretty fast, your muscles are gonna have to work pretty hard to achieve that. To achieve that, they're gonna have to burn high octane fuel that we know as blood sugar. Now, once you burn through the blood sugar, then you're gonna start drawing on the reserves of glycogen, a readily available form of sugar in reserve that, sits, that has been stored in the liver since your last meal. Um, once you burn through your glycogen, now you enter a phase of exhaustion and achy muscles. Now, I would submit to you that by that point, you haven't burned much fat because you've been burning too hard, too fast, demanding to use your blood sugar, high octane fuel, to get you from A to B. Now, on the other hand, if you're wanting to burn fat, you'll want to go much slower. You'll want to go at a heart rate somewhere in the range of 120 to 130 or less, depending on how fit you are. Now, um, a very good uh, indication of when you're transitioning out of that fat burning zone into the fuel or the, into the sugar burning zone is the rate at which you're breathing. So, when you're barely able to carry on a conversation, that's probably the maximal fat burning heart rate. When you get into a rate of exercise where you can no longer carry on a conversation, you're out of that fat burning zone into the sugar burning zone, the high octane. You've left the low octane diesel fat and you've gotten into the high octane sugar. So uh, your body will very happily uh, burn uh, that low octane, saving the high octane in case the tiger jumps out of the bushes and you gotta get the heck out of Dodge. All right, so um, more is not better when it comes to exercise, it's, uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve. If you're trying to achieve weight loss, burning fat, you wanna stay at those lower rates. And um, I'll challenge you, I'll challenge you to try this for two weeks and monitor what happens. Now, you don't get on the scale uh, because getting on the scale does not differentiate body fat from body lean from body water. It's just a very gross uh, poundage. Uh, what are you gonna measure? You're gonna measure your girth because the only measurement that reliably gets smaller, predictably gets smaller as you get healthier is your waist size, your girth. So if your slacks, your skirts, your pants are fitting looser by the end of two weeks, regardless of what your weight's done, you're getting healthier because uh, in a minute you're gonna see uh, that we're gonna add in some weights here and as you gain muscle, uh, muscle is denser, it's heavier, you may actually gain muscle faster than you're losing.